Indiana has lost a broadcasting friend. Uh, he was not only on the air, but many people felt they knew him, wonderful personality. His name was Tom Berg, and he recently succumbed to cancer after one heck of a fight. Um, perhaps the best way to remember him, not only the way he was, but remember him through the people who knew him best, the folks who worked with him, because he loved his job, he loved to work. And here's some flashbacks. I'm Paul Poteet. Tom Berg was also, in addition to being a Star Wars fan, a sometimes actor, a karaoke guy, a, a DJ on the radio, he was also a traffic reporter, and that's where I worked with him on television and on a couple of different morning radio shows. A lot of people have been touched by his loss. It's evidence of how real and genuine he was with the audience, and we'll miss him as much as you miss him. I'm Grace Trahan, and I worked with Tom Berg in the early 2000s when we both did the morning news. I was an anchor, he did traffic, and what I remember most about Tom is every single morning he would walk in with a big smile on his face and he'd say, hey Grace, how you doing? And it was so endearing and so charming because he had this pep in his step and he was always happy even though it was 4.30 in the morning, we were tired. Sometimes it was cold. Sometimes the equipment wasn't working properly. But you could always count on Tom to be professional and happy and just awesome, just so wonderful to be around. We're all gonna miss our dear friend, Tom Berg. Thank you for those reflections. And now a look back just a few months ago when our Julie Patterson visited with Tom Berg. He talked about his life, what he was expecting, and how much fun he had had sharing it with you, the audience. Here's Julie Patterson's story. Starbase Indy is a science fiction celebration that's been gathering in central Indiana for the past 20 years. There are costumes and games, shopping and seminars. Each year, one super fan is selected to be guest of honor. This year, that fan guest of honor was Tom Berg. That was a total surprise, total surprise. And that just means you get, uh, you know, you get a little more access to the stars. And, and I had a picture, a group shot taken with all the VIPs that are here. And, and it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. The weekend was a highlight for Tom, who's been battling cancer since being diagnosed in July. He went on vacation with friends over the summer, but came home with a bad stomach ache that wouldn't go away. Finally, he decided to go to the hospital they spotted a tumor. And then after they looked at it in Indianapolis, they said, well, uh, you've got stage four metastatic colon cancer. I know, right? And, and you know, my mom and my friends were there and it was, not, it was not easy to hear. I consider myself, even though I have cancer, lucky enough to still be able to be independent, still to be able to work. Uh, you know, work has been the greatest therapy, to be able to get up have a reason to get up and get out of bed every day and, and go into work and do what I love to do, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's wonderful. That job is in Knox, Indiana at radio station WKVI. Tom has had his own morning radio show there for the past five years. His community embraced him by raising $10,000 in just three days for Tom to take his bucket list trip. When I went on my bucket list trip, that was the biggest hug ever. <laughs> Seriously. Tom took his trip in September. He went to Las Vegas where he saw Penn and & Teller and the Beatles love Cirque du Soleil show. He went indoor skydiving and took a helicopter tour of the Grand Canyon and the Hoover Dam. Being a big Star Wars fan as I am, uh, the, one of the, probably the highlight for me were two things. Yeah. We actually got to go to Lucasfilm, wow. the Lucasfilm Studios in San Francisco. The, probably my favorite place out in San Francisco, it was in Petaluma, California. There's a place called Rancho Obi-Wan. Ah. There's, a guy, there's, a, there's a guy named Steve Sansweet who has, he has the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest collection of uh, Star Wars items. He has more than you? Absolutely. <laughs> Tom has chronicled all of his adventures on Facebook. He also posts updates about treatments and doctor visits. Included in many of the posts, you'll see Tom's friends, James and Sarah Gillard. They've been his caregivers and Sarah his health advocate through all of this. Tom's been one of our best friends and I know he would do the same for us and yeah, we love him. Every two weeks, Sarah or Tom's mom, Judy, go with him for a five-day chemo treatment. I have to build, I have to fight building a wall because it's, you want to separate yourself from the pain that he's going through, but I can't, I have to be all in with him. You've day heard this time. a million times, you've heard day at a time, and we'll just see how it goes, but you know, I'm just, I'm just taking it a day at a time and, and, and still having fun. Oh. 
always with you. What cannot be done? I always go back to Yoda on that. All right, I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. Do or do not. There is no try. Julie Patterson, Boomer TV.